night is fading fast From this old town we gotta go Our bags are packed so what we waiting for There's no point in delaying What we both already know Escape this time with me The Miki Super 35 and the Sony FX30 is a match made in heaven. <laughs> Alright, enough of that lovely dovey stuff. Testing out these lenses today from a noob perspective. By no means am I a lens expert, but I definitely know how to get my footage looking good. You feel me? The lens combo that we're using today is the 25 and the 50 millimeter on the Sony FX30. Body. These lenses are sharp. Not clinically sharp, but they are sharp enough for a cinema lens. They lean more to the warmer side of the spectrum, but I like that because normally when I'm color grading my photos or my videos, I normally put a little bit of warm temperature inside of it to make it more personal to me. So the footage that you're looking at right now is ungraded, and by the snap of a finger, the little bit of razzle dazzle, voila. This is how it looks graded. I'm using the Phantom Lots with a bit of tweak to get the look that you're seeing right now on the screen. Now we're going to see how well it handles glare. We're shooting the sun through the trees, and as you can see, it's doing pretty well. Right, so is it really any better than a photo lens? Well, that comes down to the user. Normally, with, when we're editing cinematic videos, we remove sharpening from the video, but a photo lens is pretty sharp right out the box because it's used for photography, and we need to see all those details like the eyelashes and the pupil, etc. But for video, we like a little bit of softness on the footage to give it that cinematic look, right? So. I initially bought these lenses for the Blackmagic 6K Pro, but I had a Sigma MC11 converter and I decided to test on FX30 because I bought the FX30 for videography. So most of the footage was shot at 4700 Kelvin, wide open at T2.1. So in case you're wondering how I got this look, that's the Kelvin I was shooting at because this camera doesn't shoot in RAW. So we have to set the Kelvin that we want from beginning while we're shooting. So I'll definitely be using this more often, graded with the Phantom Lots. So guys, like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. There's no point in delaying what we both already know. Escape this time with me. Mm -hmm. Escape this time. Stars dance from